Friday night saw local designers and celebrities putting their fashion foot forward to raise AMA funds for e-hospice. Aban Bafana Nabumpona Mateba Max Maponyana Zureda Jardine joined 100 celebrities to walk down Africa's longest red carpet at the event. But not everyone managed to walk with grace. Mm -hmm. Jamali's lethal panic and power walked her way down the red carpet looking as if she was running a marathon rather than walking the catwalk. Hi! Kwato wan lula amaran we regular spana no tando hopa and lala hiriyama. Hi! Clearly unamza mumbata agai tangi bra because once again she confidently let her girls bounce free and although we love the outfit, she could have done with some serious support, girl. The guys took a different approach and treated the red carpet as a slow walk. It's called a runway, fellas. You go fast. So you don't bore your audience. Okay, there was no chance of anyone getting bored with this fine lineup, but still. The heavily pregnant Zoleka Mandela was glowing as she hit the runway. David Lale dressed Aaron Mulois in a pair of very short shorts. And it was quite evident how uncomfortable Mulois was as he stuck very close to Savita Mbuli. This was very awkward. Big up to Aaron for being such a great sport, all in the name of fashion and charity. Still on the topic of fashion, Sesa Tlangana Nosi's boom, sit down. Unon Tlatema at Joburg Fashion Week and she had this to say. No, it was not boom. Oh my gosh, um, I don't put myself under pressure anymore to dress up for, for, for. I just, I'm comfortable in my skin now. I know who I am. I've been in the industry for so long that now I just, I just want to feel good. And since I'm reinventing myself, it's always nice to just kind of um, have a look at different designers out there and what they have to offer and maybe try a new look so that you can stay relevant, current and fresh and sexy. So yeah, I'm actually very excited to be here and I'm excited to actually be talking to you guys, The Link. You guys keep missing me, you know? In true David Tyler style, the designer took his collection off the Fashion Week runway and onto the Nelson Mandela courtyard. With South Africa celebrating 20 years of democracy, Tlale had this scene running through his collection praising African creativity. Over in Tinseltown, Songbird and Mama to be Usiara had her baby shower this past weekend. And of course, her BFFs Kim Kardashian and Lala were there for support. We also spotted Kim's pimp, <coughs> oh sorry, I mean, I mean I'm Kim's mother Kris Jenner and Ciara's fiance Future showering her with gifts. Clearly it's a boy judging from this pic. Just months after giving birth to her second child, Hollywood actress, oh Halle Berry, hallelujah, is apparently headed for another divorce. Oh, yeah, I guess, Bali. She was spotted at a pre-Oscar party without her wedding ring. Guys, come on, some of us don't wear rings, yeah, boy. Well, anyway, we hope for her children's sake she manages to work things out. In happier couple news, Uandile Ngube is no longer a bachelor. The sports presenter tied the knot with his gorgeous sweetheart, Uayanda Tabeta, at Turvini over the weekend. She looked radiant in a white dress with a touch of travel print. Congratulations, guys. Osarang Shante Waduma. And Bessie sent in this past weekend scouting for street style subjects. Tune in next week because you don't want to miss this. <laughs>